Steve, you mentioned you told your guys that this was an important game and it was about their performance heading into the, into the playoffs. How was that performance? Uh, better in the second half. It was uh, it was poor in the first half. Uh, we didn't execute. We started the game turning it over, fouling. Um, they got to the line, I think, uh, 20 times in the first half. So it was a, it was a tough uh, start to the game, tough first half. But uh, I, I liked the effort in the second half. I thought Draymond really bounced back um, after a, a slow start. Uh, the bench was fantastic. Um, everybody who came in off the bench really contributed. And I thought it was Clay's best game, too. You know, I, I know he's scored more. But just in terms of this shot selection, uh, he just had his feet on the ground underneath him. His balance was great. His decision making was really good. Um, so a lot of, a lot of good, good things happening. And you said recently you'll ride with Clay forever. Is this one of those games that shows why? Well, I mean, it was pretty easy to ride with him tonight. Uh, but uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have to have him playing at a high level and and Draymond and 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 Steph and you know Wiggs we're, we we need those guys to play well that, you know in the playoffs your your best players have to to perform and and I really like where Clay is now I think he's strung together some good games and he just looks uh, more comfortable and more relaxed out there broadcasts also caught you telling Clay that you thought it was his best game um, can you maybe expand on that a little bit like what exactly about some of the shots. Uh, I thought he took two bad shots the whole game um, out of 22. I thought he took 20 great shots, like, um, and he moved the ball on. You know, he, he uh, when he wasn't open, he he just passed it. Um, the that's really the key for him. He's such a great shooter that if he can take great shots, he's he's going to make them. He's going to get into a rhythm. Uh, now he's going to be able to make the the ones that are challenged. Um, but you could see early in the game, you know, when when we were not executing offensively, everything turned into a fast break at the other end. So, if Clay is taking great shots, um, it affects our our defense in a good in a good manner. So, I just thought he was um, really looking for great shots all night, and um, and it, it it affected the entire game. Jordan Poole had only 19, only 19 points, you know, snapping his 20-plus point streak at 17 games. Um, but he had a career-high 11 assists. So just how have you thought about his way to impact the game, you know, between scoring, facilitating, and everything, and how he's grown just over the... Course? Yeah, Jordan's been amazing. Um, you know, he's had a, a fantastic season. Um, he's filled in... Um, you know, for both Clay and Steph, when they've been injured, he's come off the bench. Uh, he's done anything that we've asked him to do. Uh, he's a great guy to coach because he really listens and absorbs uh, the lessons. And uh, I think he's gotten so much better, even in the last month or so. Um, he's uh, become much more efficient with his dribble. Um, he's not over dribbling. Uh, you know, the, the possessions are running smoother. So he's really coming into his own.